Welcome back to Gadget Class. Today we're talking about solid state hard drives. If you're shopping around and you're not sure, you know, how much money to spend on a hard drive, uh, what size to get, which brand to get, which model to get, I'm going to make it really simple for you today. Uh, what I've got here is the Samsung 850 Evo. Uh, this was just released. It's the end of 2014. Um, these were just released. The pre-release price was $249 for a 500 gigabyte drive. I'll put a link down in the description below for this drive as well as some of the other models I'm going to talk about today. Um, but when it comes down to it, Samsung uh, bought out Seagate. Seagate's been in the hard drive and memory business uh, since the beginning, you know, Seagate's one of the one of the big players, and so Samsung bought out Seagate, and they made some some pretty uh, pretty significant changes or structures there, so that Samsung is now leading the market. They're at the cutting edge. They they just put out their new 3D Van, uh, VNAND uh, memory chip technology, where they're stacking memory layers on top of each other, and that's probably going to be a game changer. You're probably going to see everything going the 3D VNAND technology way. Uh, in the next couple of years, you're going to start seeing, you know, two and three terabyte solid state drives with 3D VNAND technology. Uh, but right now, Samsung was the first to hit the market with it, and they are the market leader even without that technology. Um, so if you look at the market as a whole, as a whole let's take the 500 gigabyte level. Um, you know, when you jump from 250 to 500 gigabytes, that's when performance kind of plateaus. At the 250 gigabyte level, you're going to see some very big changes between 250, between different van, uh, brands of 250 gigabyte hard drives. Uh, the 840 Evo at 250 gigabytes is a, a less, uh, less desirable hard drive, but once you jump up to the 500 gigabyte level, the 840 Evo is not a whole lot different than the 850. Um, Basically, at 500 gigabytes, the performance kind of plateaus across brands, across the whole market. Um, for that very reason, I would recommend going with a 500 gigabyte drive. Uh, unless your budget is really small, um, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, um, you, you know, that would be a consideration. But, you know, this is going to be in your computer probably for the rest of the life of your computer. Um, you know, by the time five years pass, uh, you're probably going to be getting a new computer and a new solid state drive, probably at the, you know, three or four terabyte level. So you want to think of this as a one time investment for your computer. And for that reason, I would recommend going at the 500 gigabyte level because that's where they're all kind of peaking right now. And that's where your money's going to be best spent. Um, that being said, if you go with uh, 250 gigabytes or below, um, I would still recommend the 850 Evo because even at the 250 gigabyte level, they're still leading the market. All right. So the market as a whole, like at the 500 gigabyte level, you're looking at anywhere from 189 up to you know 250 for the 850 Evo, and then they just kind of rock it up from there. Um, once you get into the really high end stuff like the 850 Pro and um, you know the OCZs and all those ones that are kind of like up there in their own kind of little world of you know, price and performance. Um, you know, if you've got the money, sure, go for the best of the best. Most of us are looking for the best bang for the buck, the best, the most amount of space for the buck, and the best performance for the buck. And uh, because Samsung chose to release their 850 Evo at the same MSRP and pretty much the same price point as the 840, there's not enough price difference there to warrant um, going cheap. Um, you know, the, the 840 Evo right now, I think is 219 on Amazon. Um, maybe even more than that at, uh, Newegg and some of the other places. The 850 Evo, the pre-release price is 249 and it's probably going to stay at the 249 level. Um, so because they released it at the same price point, there's not enough of a price difference even between like the 249, 8. 50 Evo and like a cheapo old model crucial like even an MX100 that's old technology now you can get one of those for like 189 that's still only like $60 difference and for the price of a you know a tank of fuel and a night out with your girlfriend um or your significant other sorry um 
you can go ahead and upgrade to something that's going to actually be the top performer and it's going to last the rest of the life of your computer. So I would recommend the 840 Evo, Evo not the 840, the 850 Evo at this point um, because it's the, it's the best you can get right now. The price point is good. I respect Samsung for coming out at a good price point. And uh, you can look up all the benchmark sites. Um, the 850 Evo is a good all-around performer and it's the money best spent right now. I would get the 850 Evo um, at any gigabyte level. Even down to 120 gigabytes, I would still get the 850 Evo because they, they're leading, leading the market right now in performance and cost. So there's not much to it. I mean, it's, it's a bunch of memory chips in a case. You know, I thought back in like the year 2000, I was wondering why they didn't just put a whole bunch of RAM chips or memory chips into a container and make a non-moving hard drive. And apparently it took the market, you know, what, 14 years to actually get to that point. I don't know if I was just uh, pipe dreaming back then, but I, I thought it should have been easy back then. You know, back when you had like the compact flash cards and you know ram chips you know you'd think you could just stack ram chips together and make a, a good hard drive but i guess not i guess that was 14 years in the making and here we are 500 gigabytes in a small seven millimeter two and a half uh, inch drive so that's it go for the samsung 850 evo unless you are on the absolute worst budget then i don't know just get the cheapest of the cheap Go get a MX100 for 189 You know, save yourself 50 bucks. But I would go with the 850 Evo. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, be sure to watch the rest of our videos.